Hey guys, don't worry, I'm here to help you to fix this problem with the step by step perfect solution. So let's begin. Now we need to click on advanced options, then click on troubleshoot. Now click on advanced options, and at the last, we need to click on command prompt. Now execute this command carefully, type chkdsk slash f slash r c colon and hit enter to execute this command now we need to type this command c colon and simply press enter now type cd space c colon slash and hit enter to execute the command now type cd space windows and hit enter to execute the command now type cd space system32 and we need to execute this command for that simply hit enter now type cd space config and hit enter now execute this command type md space backup and simply hit enter now type copy space star dot star space backup and simply hit enter to execute the command now type md space backup one and simply hit enter now execute this command carefully type in copy space star dot star space backup one then simply hit enter to execute the command now type cd space reg back and simply hit enter now type dir and hit enter now type copy space star dot star space dot dot and hit enter then type all and hit enter to execute the command type in boot rec space slash fix mbr and hit enter to execute the command type bootrec space slash fix boot and hit enter type cd space c colon slash and hit enter now type cd space windows slash system32 slash config slash rage back and hit enter to execute now type this command bcd edit space slash export space c colon slash bcd backup and hit enter now execute this command type cd space c colon slash and hit enter now type md space boot and hit enter type cd space boot and hit enter now execute this command type md space bcd type cd space c colon slash and hit enter now type attrib c colon slash boot slash bcd dash h dash r dash s and hit enter now type ren space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd space bcd dot old then simply hit enter to execute this command now type bootrec space slash rebuild bcd and simply hit enter type exit and simply hit enter now click on continue it will restart your system so that's it guys your problem is solved and you are good to go